next to the stage, it is Andrew McNicholas. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing I do. <laughs> What they don't tell you is it's super hot up here. So, uh. Yeah. 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 Can I, I actually want to try something. So they call it stand-up comedy. Could like, maybe y'all stand and I sit? Is that, does that stand? I'm not gonna start until. I got enough, okay. Did, did, I don't think any of y'all, I don't think any of y'all appreciated Savannah's shirt. Savannah, who's on your shirt, just for the audience? Martin Luther! Or as we in the Catholic Church call him, the Vandal. <laughs> Do you know how expensive oak doors are? He nailed it. It wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna tape it up. He literally nailed it to the door. We had to get a whole new, I learned about him in Sunday school, and my, my youth pastor was like, he sucks! Um, a lot of comedians, I've noticed a trope that they come up here and they're like, Catholics, right? I used to be, but no, I'm not. I still am. Please, please don't hate. Um, I'm one of the cool ones that is just doing it because everything else seems harder. But I'm really cool. I'm actually a fourth degree Knight of Columbus. I have the Pope's personal email address. Pontifex at Vatican.edu. It's a college, I don't know. And so I've emailed him recently and I'm like, hey, we're losing followers. We need to get some more followers because more money. No responses. And I was like, I have a guaranteed way to get us followers. And I got a response back from one of the cardinals from like our, like North America. And he was like, uh, Brother McNicholas, thank you so much for reaching out to us. What is your plan? And I said, Cardinal, Red Sox, what I think would be really, so if y'all don't know in Catholic Church at Mass, you get a little, little Cracker Boy and a little sip of wine. It's actual wine. You could, you could watch a baby get fucked up. It's funny. What I say is instead of that little cracker, let's do garlic bread. How many of y'all, if you show up and you can just tune out for an hour, but you're guaranteed a little bit of garlic bread and a little bit of wine every Sunday for free? All right. You hear that, Pope? Me and, me and Frank, cool. The only thing that sucks about being a Knight of Columbus is like, if he calls for a crusade, I gotta go. Like, that's it, y'all. Like, I gotta ship out and I gotta sword and shield and hope faith is enough. <laughs> so that's what they did in the olden days. Oh, man, it's really toasty up here. Yeah. I was thinking about a lot of things recently, and one of the things I was thinking about is how, I'm gonna shake it out, this is why I'm standing up, is about how, like, how did humans first figure out how to go to sleep? Because, like, did you just, did they just guess? You know? What do you think? What do you think, miss? Do, 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 you, think they, do you think they just guess? <laughs> Just happened. Okay, see, thank you. So this is what I imagine happened. You have Gronk and Craig, which sounds like a caveman name. And so they're talking to each other, and he's like, Gronk, I'm just, you know, I don't, what was that? Oh, man, what are you talking about? That thing, what did you do right there? Dude, you know, I'm just, I just, I'm done, man. I'm done. With living? No, you remember that one time? You remember that one time the hot thing in the sky went down and we woke up and we felt really good? Yeah, everyone died. <laughs> well, that's because we all did the thing. I want to do, you know how we do this thing? I want to do like this. <laughs> Wake up! Okay, how about I try it? We'll see how it goes. And then the next day he's like, I think I did something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll use the rest of my time for crowd work. Um, so get ready. I'm in law school, so I can do this. Uh, sir in the striped shirt, um, do you have a, well first, have you ever heard of judicial diversion? Yes. Okay, so do you have a record? No. Okay, so what crime do you want to get away with? I can't help you in murder, rape, or arson, I'm sorry. Um, how about money laundering? Money laundering? Oh, yeah. At the federal level, that's gonna be class C felony. Would you be willing to be on probation for four years? And you get away, but you're done though. It gets wiped from your record and you're cool. Hell yeah. Sir next to him, what about you? Any crime except the ones I've said. That's, it, in tennis, it's only like, that. you're gonna waste it on that? <laughs> Don't burn your judicial diversion on anything less than like stabbing a baby. I'm serious. <laughs> Well, that's just, that's just simple assault. Like, it's no big deal. Y'all gotta think creative. Okay, if, if it's smoking weed, dude, that'll be, you spend literally 
12 hours cleaning up garbage in the streets and no one cares. Sir, next to him, what about you? Hey, dude, but that way you didn't have me as a lawyer break into that courthouse. Could you imagine that? But sir, next to him, what about you? How ambitious do you want to be? Smoking weed. Smoking weed too? Okay, there seems to be a theme here. That's okay though. I mean, it's honestly from the insider, from the judge's courtroom, from his chambers. Uh, it's coming in like 2021. And then I'll end with uh, sir, sir next to him. I want to punch the president. Punch the yeah. president? Dude. Yeah. Dude, that's, you're going to get arrested just for saying that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Disregard <laughs> FBI guy. That, honestly, that's just a simple assault. So that's a class C felony. You'd probably be looking at doing like maybe a month in Gitmo. What about treason? Last one, what? What about treason? Treason? Oh, I can't help you with treason. Uh, <laughs> White treason? Uh, just come talk to me after the show. We'll talk about that. I'm Anthony. Thank you, thank you, thank you.